looking into the paranormal veil. Death waits for no one when it comes. Purgatory is the spirit's jail. Built behind the blind man's wall. Catch the specter behind the glass. He repeats the disembodied voice. It all happens when the bones are cast. After death, there is no choice. Looking into the paranormal veil. Death waits for no one when it comes. Purgatory is the spirit's jail. Built behind a blind man's world. Pastors and healers and shamans and poets. We explore the darkened ruins. Bless the good spirits and give them food. Alas, we are coming for you soon. Looking into the paranormal veil. Death waits for no one when it comes. Purgatory is the spirit's jail. Hello, YouTubians. Um, Joe, also known as Bra here from Chasey Bones Inspectors. And if you followed uh, the, the new intro, I've been blessed with the, the name of Blue Falcon, given to me by the spirits. Um, White Wolf has uh, told me that they talked to him and have bestowed this name upon me. I can't even begin to tell you the great honor that is. It's not something I was expecting. But this being in my second year of Druid training, I'm now uh, tasked with uh, the starting of my, my second year. So White Wolf is going to be uh, you know, guiding me through all of this. And uh, today we're out here to gather some bull rushes so I can uh, start my own uh, kit bag. So, out we go. Okay, so uh, I was instructed that I needed three, and there are three here. So, firstly, I thank Mother Earth for these gifts. And I ask permission to take her children for me to use in the future. And I'm trying desperately hard to walk without falling flat on my face. As funny as that would be, I don't want to do it. So Mother Earth, I take this blessings and my gratitude and I thank you for this yeah. again Mother Earth I thank you for bestowing upon me this gift that I'm allowed to use Mother Earth again I thank you for this gift that you bestow upon me to help me in my training to understand help and heal respect well, thank you well done well done indeed okay when you get up here I'll talk a little bit all right, all right so right now uh, Joe Blue Falcon is starting his shaman and his druid training uh, the bull rush is a very important ingredient for lots of different things but for one thing uh, that we use it for 
is uh, when we're doing holy blessings on areas. It's used as a base uh, to mix with other ingredients to sage with. Okay. Um, now I'm going to tell you about all these things, but please, if you don't, you know, like I'm not going to tell you the mixtures or anything like that because that you, you, you kind of got to be careful what you're doing with it, right? Um, but anyway. Uh, so now he's got the base for a lot of saging things, for a lot of uh, food preparation, uh, for a lot of energy to give into spirits. Um, it's also used with a mixture. If, uh, say, you get a good cut on your arm or something, yeah, you, you can put that on, put some gauze over it, and that'll clot it until you can get to the hospital to get the stitches done. <laughs> okay, so there's a lot of, we use it for a lot of different things. And uh, well done. Okay, now we're here at the beach, and the specific reason for it is this white sand here. We need this, okay? However, it has to be special. Now, the reason we want this is because of the energy it gives. So when we're using uh, things like crossroads dirt or things like that, this is good solid earth, mother earth dirt. And the, the thing about this place is here you have mother earth, and there, is sister water. So with Mother Earth and sister water, sister river, sister lake, um, it gives it extra energy. And plus because it is a peaceful place, it gives it the energy of peace. So now we'll let Brown collect that. <laughs> okay. Mother Earth, I thank you for this gift. And I ask your permission to take it, to help you heal, to help spirits, and to help in your word. With your blessings, I take this. I thank you. This is, the, this is earth, this is your foundations. Where life starts, we allow it to continue. Sister Water, Sister Lake, located on the banks of Nanabijou. Oh, sorry, being washed over by Nanabijou on the lakes of Gitchigumi. I always get those two mixed up. The peacefulness, you know, that you can just feel here. It's just amazing. So again, Mother Earth, under Sister Sky, being watched over by Sister Sun. Again, I thank you for these gifts. I just want to touch uh, a little bit more up on the bulrush. The reason that the bulrush is important because it's an elemental gift. Uh, because the bulrush is earth. It also needs water. It's also wood. It's also from the sun. And it also needs the air. So all the elements are needed in order to produce it in the first place which is what makes it such a good base for a lot of the different things that we do. So I just wanted to add that on here. We're, while we're here, you know I can't resist. <laughs> Hello spirits. How you doing? Fine, that's good. Are the ladies here that we talked to that one time? Hey, how are you? It's Eve, your name's Eve? What's the other lady's name? Rhonda? Well, hello Eve and Rhonda. Oh, hello. I said hello to you too. Uh, how, how's everyone doing? All the spirits feel okay? We're fine? Oh, that's great news. It's all cool? It's all cool. Yeah? Yep. Yep, hello. <laughs> well, they could be mentioning the weather. Well, they could be. It is a bit cool here. You want to say hi to Blue Falcon? He's been given a name now. 
Blessings. I heard that. Blessings. Yeah. Blue? Yeah? Can you say Blue Falcon? Blue Falcon. <laughs> it was broken up, but hey, good job. <laughs> The William Shatner did. Okay, I just wanted to say hi while we're here. So blessings to all of you and we'll talk to you soon. All right, bye bye. Okay, um, just a little while ago I, I used my uh, my Raptor box to just to talk to the spirits on my own. It wasn't uh, recording it and they mentioned Ryan. So if anyone's been following us, they know about Ryan and Ryan's Bridge and everything else. Thank the spirits for remembering him and his service. As we're walking back to the car, you know, we found a painted rock of, you know, from the Thunder Bay Rocks groups. Thank you. I'm going to, you know, return it to Ryan because it says on it, lest we forget. So we just mentioned Private Ryan remembering his service, and this is a rock we find by the car. Blessings, thank you. Blessings, thank you. so we're going to be giving this to Ryan. Thank you. Hi, so now we're at the cemetery because we have to get Holy Cross Road dirt. Okay, um, we're gonna ask the spirits, make sure it's all okay and everything else, obviously. Um, but Bra has to decide where we're supposed to go in this great big place. So he's gonna tell me which way to go and everything else, and then when we get there, he's gonna tell me if it's the right spot. Well. Okay, we're here at the, the cemetery to collect uh, Holy Cross where it roads dirt. It took a while to, to find it, but uh, this is a spot I was at before for when we were helping out Marianne and Hank. And this is where I got the crossroads dirt to be able to help them. So again, I called upon the spirits and asked for permission. And once again, take crossroads dirt to aid me, to aid others help those who you know, need our help. Thank you. Hello my YouTubing. So, the reason that Blue Falcon is collecting Holy Cross Roads dirt, we use it, uh, we get it blessed by the spirits here, and then it is used to trap demons. Demons are a lot a lot of times summoned by crossroads so they don't have a choice when crossroad dirt is in play they have to come to it but the problem with that is when they come to holy crossroads dirt guess what it acts as a trap however it does have to be mixed with a bunch of other stuff in order for it to work um, and lots of different prayers and everything else but that's the basis of why uh, we always collect holy crossroads dirt I guess you gotta say something. I guess I gotta say something. Camera turned on its own. Spirits, I thank you for allowing me to do this, for giving me your gifts freely. I, I'm doing, I'll do my best to do good with this. With White Wolf's uh, guidance and instructions, I hope to continue on with his good work. Thank you. As he would say, see ya, see ya. See ya, see ya. Hello my YouTube in. So guess what? Uh, we're back here. It does ever feel different here now. It feels so nice here. Uh, but anyway, uh, we both had at the same time uh, feeling that the elemental, the white elemental wanted us to come back here. So here we are. Um, and I know why we're here. Uh, so uh, I will explain that to you as, you know, as we go along. Hello again, YouTubians. Uh, as you heard Daddy say, the White Elemental has called uh, both of us here. He called me as, you know, as Blue Falcon. And I thank you for calling us. Um, I can feel the gifts that you want me to, to take with me as I, as I leave. 
I see that uh, our offerings were gladly ta uh, taken and uh, used, which is a good sign. And yeah, um, a lot, a very peaceful feeling here. Just nice and calm. Yeah, it's, way different. Everything is like, yeah. and I hear running water. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't have that the last time. No. I hear water running. I hear, you know, everything is vibrant and alive. No feeling of dread like the last time we came in here. All right, let's go grab your gifts. We shall, thank you. Okay, um, the gifts that uh, the White Elemental you know, left for me are right here. Birch bark. Cedar. Pine cones. Pine cones. Oh, there you go. That is a very powerful um, indeed, uh, especially with the druid site, which I'll teach you as we go along. Nice. Now, you were saying something about that tree over there you got to go over there? When we first came up here with Shelly from, from Shelly's Paranormal, for some reason that tree was been calling me. I thought, you know, maybe it wants me to harvest berries, but it doesn't. It just wants me to go near the tree. I don't know why. All right, go ahead. I'll, I'll stay back. Okay. While he's doing that, we'll take a walk back up over here. Oh, ancient cone, thank you. I'll take him. I got three cones too. We'll see if he figures out why a certain tree called him. All right, we'll talk to you later. Did you figure out why you were called to the tree? I was called to the tree as a final goodbye. Uh, if you've seen the other videos, YouTubers, uh, you remember me talking about a teenager and a friend and you heard her call me by name. Uh, and you said, you know, do you love me? Uh, 
I thought the you know I thought it was being called to take something from the tree like itself. Instead, what I got from it was a goodbye. <laughs> I got <laughs> all is well. She's at rest. She's no longer here. Awesome. And I'm 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 tearing up here again. <laughs> uh, so in, uh, in in closing, uh, YouTubers, this is uh, Blue Falcon. Uh, I thank you for your likes and your comments and everything that I've been following. Um, this journey that I started two years ago, uh, I did not think would bring me here to this point. Hit the subscribe, hit the bell, throw us a comment, suggestions, open for you, just about anything. Yeah, peace and light, peace and love. Respect to all spirits and respect to your human, your fellow humans. Love y'all. Oh, yeah, I'll say my bit. All right. All right, everybody. Today has been an honor uh, to go with Blue Falcon to Joe, Bra, take him around for to actually collect uh, stuff for his uh, first uh, go-to bike. And, uh, oh, I got my new cane. Look at that. Fancy-ass cane. New sports uh, model? New sports model, yeah. Um, yeah, no, today, today's been... Awesome, and it tugged up my heart a couple times going through today, which is nice. Uh, so I guess in, in all that, there's only one thing left to do. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your family. <laughs> Watch out for ghosts. <laughs> and have a great day. Bye. <laughs>